you will need a cake pan and a rack. The rack is really helpful. And then you're going to put a little bit of water in there, okay, until it's almost touching the rack. And what that's going to do is when the fat drips down from the chicken, it's not going to smoke and uh, set off your fire alarm. All right, we want this chicken to cook more evenly, so we're going to spatchcock it, which means that we're actually going to cut the back out of it so that we can spread it, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you want to get a nice sharp knife, okay, and you essentially want to cut the back out of the chicken. So this might take some elbow grease, but you know, with a nice sharp knife, you can do this. Okay, you just got to cut through the ribs here. All right, there we go, see? Now, you can leave this on or you can take it off. It's up to you, but uh, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, so now the back is off. Okay, so now we're going to take our rub and we're going to season the chicken okay so you want to put a whole bunch of this and just sprinkle it in there okay you want this chicken to be nice and flavorful so don't be shy okay and then rub it in there okay so now we take our chicken and you want to lay it out like this see all right, now the heat's gonna come from the top and from the bottom, and because the back is off, it's gonna cook more evenly. And we're gonna take this rub again, and we're going to rub the chicken. You can also drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil. Now, I really like the gizzards, so I'm going to put them in the water. And then I'll put the chicken over it. Now, as soon as you see the sauce caramelize in the oven, take it out and put another layer on. And there we go, perfectly caramelized barbecue chicken right in your oven. Look at this tender, crispy, perfectly cooked, juicy.